We hope you enjoy this clip. Before you watch it, please hit that subscribe button. Do you know where this is going? Um, Some people dream. Yeah, go ahead. Were you were you surprised at all by Doc comments um, saying that we we that team would never have won? Yes. Yes, I was surprised from the standpoint like Doc, you're the coach. Like, what do you mean we never won? We were supposed to believe, and you're supposed to have us believe we're going to win, right? Like. I didn't know how to respond. I was going to respond. It's the first time I'm actually talking about it. But I was like, I was going to say, well, damn. I found out like, what, what can we say that if our coach believes we're never going to win? Like, that was kind of – and maybe he'll get more into it. How did you take it? Because I was kind of like <laughs> – Yeah. Well, uh, it's funny because I, I saw Doc a few days later. Because yeah, um, I, I called the game and had the pregame. It was the first thing he brought up. I'm surprised you, know, I'm surprised you had a, an issue with my comments. And, and look, the reality is, here's what's interesting to me about those comments. The reality is, the two years that we had issues in the locker room uh, were 16 and 17. Yes. We weren't going to win those years anyways. Uh, 14 and 15 were the two years that I look back on. as, And I, and I missed a ton of 14 because of my back injury and breaking my wrist. Still one of the most enjoyable seasons of my career. I thought those teams, that was a, those were special groups, special locker rooms, special groups. Um, so that's what that was. was it. And, then there's, and then, of course, in 16 and 17, too, in 16, uh, Chris and Blake both got hurt within 10 minutes of each other in the first round while we're up in a series. And then in game uh, three in 17, Blake gets hurt for the rest of the series, or the rest of the season against Utah in the first round. So, like, are those that's not even though there were issues in the lock. That's not the reason we didn't advance in the playoffs. I I, I thought it was weird. I thought it was weird. I'll I'll just say that. I, I um, thought it was weird. Not to cut. I thought it was weird. But to me, the first thing that came to my mind was the one word was accountability. Like it, it made it seem like we're over here and there are he was over here. Like yo, I thought this was all together. So accountability was like yo, we weren't. That's it. Like. We're, yeah, that's the part messed me up. Yeah, that that kind of messed me up too, because I feel like I know I have, uh, and and when we have talked about this uh, publicly, whether it's been on a podcast or whatever, um, everybody I've talked to about it has kind of owned their own mistakes, yes. if, that, if that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. and realizes, especially later on, like that we we still could have had something special, um, and then to not get any of that like accountability. From him, yeah, I was blown. Away. And the interesting part too is he's talking about players getting along, and like he was brought in. I thought at least after after um, after Vinny left, like Doc's reputation, right, was like as a personality manager, you know, a person in Butu, yeah, all that stuff, personality manager, and he was the GM. So like, if if people weren't getting along, like it's I don't know, it's kind of on you. Let's 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 take it to the simplest. The sport, right? Yeah. Let's take it the very simple sport and the, the pure essence of it. How's the team you coach right now? How, Say what again? How old is your team that you coach? Eight, nine years old. If they're not getting along, whose fault is it? Who's, whose job is it to get everybody on the same page? Oh, I had to stop him in practice two days ago because uh, after a drill, somebody told a, uh, something that I didn't think was particularly nice to another kid. So I stopped the drill. I lined them all up. We're not going to speak to each other that way. That doesn't happen. I pointed out to one another kid, hey, the other day in warmups, you know, Manoa was trying to shoot threes. You told him he can't shoot threes. Right. I was like, why? Why are you doing that? That that's not being a good teammate, right? It's on the coach, 100. percent I'm just saying, and I, and that we would have never, if we're being honest and real talk, we would have never came out and said it was Doc's fault we lost her. So we're not saying that, but we at least no. all together as far as why we lost. And it, like you said, everybody kind of owned their shit of why we lost. I just, the, the, I guess the part that bothers me is like in 14 and 15, we all believed we could win. Yes. Do, doc, the or, the doc, the orator clearly believed. Doc, the orator and me, me motivator clearly believed we could win. But why, why like at randomly eight years later, are you like changing the narrative on that, changing the script on that? JJ, we put out the team that just won the championship in the first round. So why would we not believe we can win? The year before that, we put out the team that basically went on a run for a dynasty. Like, why would we not believe we could win? I can tell you this. Our game five loss in Oklahoma City, when we were up 11 with four minutes to go, that yeah. had nothing to do with cooperation. 
uh, our our three one meltdown against Houston that had nothing to do with cooperation. Those weren't the reasons we lost. And and, and for some reason, it's coming to me right now. David West, when they won the championship, I believe in Golden State, he was like, "Man, we just went through so much shit. It'll come out later." But teams go through stuff. Like I don't think there was a perfect team. Yeah, you want everybody on the same page. You want everybody pulling the same direction. But even those teams go through some stuff, and they still find a way. They're not going to say, "Oh." And they was never going to win because they had this, this, and third one. So it, it kind of it threw me for, for sure. We hope you had fun with us today. We hope you laughed. <laughs> we hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.